Types of Experimental Research Design The steps on how to go about each design With detailed examples and illustrations There are four main types of experimental research designs Completely Randomized Design, or CRD Randomized Block Design, or RBD Latin Square Design, or LSD and Factorial Design, or FD Completely Randomized Designed or CRD is used when experimental units form a homogeneous group. Some example test groups are day-old chicks of the same breed, very young laboratory animals like mice, rats, rabbits, or guinea pigs. In agriculture, research groups can be several plot of land in the same field. Another characteristic of CRD is that the allotment of treatment to the experimental units is completely random. Suppose there are N experimental units and T treatments, and each treatment is allotted with N replication units at random. Then, the formula is, n equals n times t. In CRD, the total number of experimental units required is decided by error degrees of freedom. And, for precise test of significance in CRD, the minimum error df should be at least 10. Example In an experiment, if five treatments are to be compared, how many experimental units will be required? Substituting T equals 5, and error DF equals 10. Our working equation will be, 5 times, N minus 1, equals 10. Solving the equation, we get three units, or replications, per treatment. Hence, the total number of experimental units n equals n times t equals 3 times 5 equals 15. In this CRD experiment, with five treatments, three replications, and 15 experimental units total requirement, Take note of how each of the experimental units have been allotted randomly to each treatment. In completely randomized design experiments, here are some values for the T treatments, N replications, and N total experimental units. Computed using the error DF formula. CRD experiments are easy to design. Analysis of data is simple and straightforward. And, statistical analysis do not become complicated if some of the experimental units fail to provide information. But, the design requires homogeneous set of experimental units. However, if experimental units are not homogeneous, the error component will be large, and this will make the treatment comparison less efficient. Another experimental research design is the randomized block design or RBD. This is an improvement over CRD. It is applied when experimental units are heterogeneous. In this design, all the experimental units are grouped into different homogeneous blocks, according to variability. 
and the number of experimental units within each block, are the multiple of treatments. Some examples are Animals of different breeds, sex, age, or other conditions In agriculture, several plot of land in a different field, or location Species of plants in various environmental, or weather conditions Take note in this design, the allotment of treatment is completely at random, within the homogeneous block. For example, a research study on the effect of certain feeds, on body weight gain of 80-day-old chicks. Different breeds of chicks are, New Hampshire, Plymouth Rock, Cornish, and Sussex. We have total number of 80 chicks. The treatments are the different feeds, feed 1, feed 2 and so on. Number of blocks equals 4, the 4 different breeds. Thus, you must have 20 chicks in each breed. Reminder, in RBD, each treatment is applied to one experimental unit, within each block and the number of replication of each treatment, is equal to number of blocks. The number of blocks, and number of treatments, will be such that the error degrees of freedom should be at least 10. For example, in a research study with 4 treatments, we can compute for the number of blocks, by using the formula for error df. Our working equation is, V minus 1 times T minus 1, equals 10. Substituting T equals 4, and solving for B blocks, we get B equals 4. Also, we can compute for total experimental units N, as 4 times 4, so N equals 16. The experiment, with 4 treatments, 4 blocks minimal requirement, and 16 experimental units. Here is the illustration table of the experiment design. Take note, of the random allotment of the treatments, to units within each block. The randomized block design has been most frequently used. Since it is easy to design experiments with one local control. Statistical analysis of data is simple in RBD, but it's a little bit tricky than CRD. RBD eliminates one assignable causes of variation among experimental units, by using local control or blocking. Also, the error DF in RBD is lesser than that of CRD, due to removal of DF for blocks. However, when the number of treatments to be compared is large, then it becomes difficult to get large blocks of homogeneous experimental units. The analysis of data becomes difficult, if one or more than one observation is missing. Under such condition it will be necessary to remove or omit that block. What is the randomized complete block design? Just remember that for RBD, there can be one block, treatment combination missing. We can say that in that case it is incomplete. The randomized complete block design or RCBD is the best scenario. Since all the block treatment combination is present in the study. 
Thus, it is termed as complete. Another experimental research design, is the Latin square design, or LSD. Here, the number of treatments, is equal to the number of replications. For M treatments, there are M squared experimental units, or plots, arranged in a square. Also, the M treatments, are then allocated at random to these rows and columns, in such a way that every treatment occurs once and only once in each row and in each column. In a LSD experiment, with three treatments, there are three experimental units, or replications per treatment, and has total of nine experimental units. Here is the illustration table of that design. Again, note the random allotment of treatments in the units. Here we have another example for Latin square design, an agricultural experiment. With factor in rows, seed variety, factor in columns, soil fertility, and given with three treatments, fertilizer A, B, C. Here is the illustration table of that design. Again, note the random allotment of treatments in the units. The advantages of LSD includes It controls more of the variation than CRD or RBD. The statistical analysis is simple though slightly complicated than RBD. Also, even with missing data the analysis remains relatively simple. And, more than one factor can be investigated simultaneously, and with fewer trials than more complicated designs. However, there are disadvantages like, the fundamental assumption that there is no interaction between different factors, that is, the factors act independently, may not be true in general. Its field of application is suitable only for the number of treatments between 5 and 10, and if too large, it does not remain homogeneous. When several units are missing data, the statistical analysis becomes quite complex. But unlike in RBD, we can easily omit the data for these blocks, without complicating the analysis at all. In factorial design experiments, multiple factors, the researcher controlled independent variables, are manipulated, or allowed to vary. They provide researchers two main advantages. First, they allow researchers to examine the main effects, of two or more individual independent variables simultaneously. Second, they allow researchers to detect interactions among variables. An interaction, is when the effects of one variable vary, according to the levels of another variable. Such interactions, can only be detected when the variables are examined in combination. Here are some examples of factorial design research studies, with different levels of independent variables. There can be 2x2 design, 2x3, 3x4, 4x5, and so on. In here, there are two factor or two independent variables being studied. Here is another factorial design research experiment, with three independent variables or three factors, which are treatment, setting, and dosage. 
This is a 2x2x3 factorial design, 